Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart. We're going to create one together using this video. And then I'm going to give you some information and you are going to be creating your own chart. Okay, so we're going to start with the document that I provided for you. It should look identical to this one. So I'm in the home ribbon. First thing we're going to do is we are going to change the font size <coughs> right here in cell A1. We're going to change this to 16 point font. Okay, and we're going to make it bold. Um, and I'm hoping you know how to uh, make a column wider. You can do it a couple of ways. So this you see right here how this um, overflows all the way over to column E. So if I double click this, you see that all of this data is in one cell. Now I'm going to undo it. So I'm going to select cells A1 and I'm using the left click and I'm going to hold it and drag it over to E1. And then I'm going to click wrap text. Oh, sorry. Merge and center. Sorry. Okay, so when I do that, then it's merged all of these together. So I can go up here between columns A and B, double click, and it auto fits the column to the data that's in it. And I'm going to do the same thing with column B. Well, I don't want it that small, that's kind of awful. So I want to get it right at 5. Okay, so there's two ways you can do it. You can left click and drag it around and move it and it will automatically do it or you can left click to select the column then you right click and you go to column width and we're going to choose five pretty easy right okay so the next thing we're going to do is put a because this is I want this to be so I have to make these bigger Because as you can see, it did not all fit. Okay, because when we shrunk these columns down, you know, all the words just wouldn't fit anymore. So now we're going to select cells A4 through B10 right here. And we're going to put a border around them. So we're going to click all borders. All right, so now let's create a chart. So I'm going to select cells A1 down to here. Well, let me unmerge that for the purpose of this. Select cells A1 down to B10. And I'm going to click the insert ribbon. And there's two ways you can do it. You can do it by recommended charts. And it will recommend charts for you. I, for the purpose of this assignment, I want you to use the pie chart because it's going to show portions of a whole. But we first have to do one important thing. We have to make sure all these percents add up to 100. So in order to do that, you go back to the home ribbon. See so here this little thing, auto sum. You're going to click this and it will automatically select the fields for you and you're going to press enter. It does equal 100, so we are good to go. I just had to double check myself. Okay, so I'm going to select cells A1 down to B10 again. I'm going to click insert. And we're going to click charts. We're going to click a pie chart. Pretty easy, right? See, because we selected right here in A1, it already has the title. It's pretty awesome. And you can see the legend down here on the bottom. It represents the colors. Now, Let's do a couple things. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do it up here, like this. You can change it this way. You can even make it like this. This is pretty cool. I like that one. But you can do all kinds of things to your pie chart. So, choose the color you like. I'm going to just stick with the plain old one. Um, but we're going to do a couple things to it. So when you have the chart clicked, and when I say chart, I mean the entire thing. Remember, this is the graph part. 
the whole caboodle is the chart. So we're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to scroll over to legend. Don't click anything yet. I'm going to scroll over to this little drop down arrow. And I'm going to change the location to the right. I think that looks better over there. All right, now I do want some data labels. I'm going to scroll over, not click anything yet. And now I'm going to click the drop down arrow. And I want some. I don't want the age group in there. There we go. I want a data call out. But I want this. Let's see what we can do. More options. I do not want category name, so I'm taking that away. There's the percentage. Now you click size and properties. La, 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 la. Inside end, and you see it moves it inside. Center goes into the center. Outside end, or you could go with best fit. So when you go with best fit, that's what it does. I don't like the call out too much. That seems kind of um, like it's drawing a lot of attention to it. So we're going to edit that just a smidgen. We're not going to call it a call out. We don't want call outs. Okay, so it's not going to work for me. There you go on the inside end. Okay, so it's right here. It's on the inside end. Or you can put it back on the outside. Your choice. I'll just put it back on the... Oh, I just closed it by accident. I'm so sorry. There we go. And you see it's under text options over here and then the little chart thing. So I'm going to put outside end. Because that's pretty easy, right? Okay. So I want a border. I want just a solid line. And I want the color to be a black. So it should be a border around my chart. So you see it's pretty easy. A pie chart is best used for, I hope you're thinking it while I'm getting ready to say it, one series of data. And this is your one series of data right here. Technically, you know, you could look at it and be like, but it's two data series. No. This is what it is representing. And then this is your data that represents this age group. So, <clears throat> so looking at this pie chart, what would be the, um, and you know what we could put down here at the bottom. Let's see here. Chart title, data labels. I don't want any of that. Oh dear, no. Okay, so I'm going to show you some things you can do. You can click each little piece of the pie. And you can change the color. You can right click on it. And then you can change the fill color to whatever color you like. I'm just going to leave it the colors that it currently is. I don't really like this color, so, so let's change them. And you can change your own colors. That's your option. I'll change it up here. And it's under the design. So I'm going to go to change colors. I see it's kind of already there for you. It's just really easy if you want to do the same colors, same color family, different colors. You choose your choice. I don't like that. It's too. These are just not very happy colors. That's such a problem for me. Okay, so if you look at this with this legend, you're just like, what is this? You don't know what the legend means. So, we can put in here. We 
We're going to put little text box in here. Well, you know what? It's I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. My bad. I'm a little bit tired. This does say average age of moviegoers, so it should be understood that this is the age of moviegoers. This is the percent that each moviegoer age group represents. So the smallest age group would be 2 to 11 year olds. And the largest age group, just by looking at the pie chart, is 22%, which is the 25 to 39 year olds. So this is a very easy chart to read. Okay, so now I'm going to have you create your own chart. We're going to start right here. And I changed things up on you. Okay, so I had to have this right here because, you know, I have kids, so I don't get to the movies super often anymore. Okay, so what I want you to do is to find the top, um, let's just say, I don't even know what this movie is, so we'll skip that. We'll go with like the top eight movies. So, we can box off this. Box office here. Haha. <laughs> It'd help if I'd spell it correctly. October movie sales. Okay. Well, you know what we can put in here? 1028 through 1030. All right. So what you're going to do right here in this column, you'll put the movie. And in this column, you'll put the sales. Okay. And then you're going to create your own pie chart. Okay. So you can, remember, you can change each color. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to take this pie chart that I have here. Let's make this big again. I'm going to, well, sorry, you have to do four charts today. It's really not hard, I promise. It's super easy. So this is a regular pie chart. So you're going to create a regular pie chart. And you're going to put it off to the right. Now I'm going to show you how to create a exploded pie, which is amazingly easy. We're going to go to Insert, Charts, and then we're going to, no, We'll go to 3D Pi because I'm going to show you how you pull it out to, to part of the hole. All right, so I'm going to move the legend over again. I just like it on the right. I'm right handed, so I just like it over there. Probably shouldn't, but I do. Okay. So to do the exploded pie, so it's going to take you a little bit of patience. You see how I'm just kind of clicking on each one of these? But be very careful if you click on the number you're selecting, the data series. Okay, so you have to be clicking on the piece of the pie, kind of like a piece of pizza. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this one right here, 22, and I'm just going to pull it out a smidgen. See, now it's highlighting it. So this is an exploded pie chart. I can pull it out even more and make a bigger emphasis on it. So then it should be pretty obvious that this is the biggest piece of the pie. Now I've wanted to be really quirky, you know, really spend some time on it. Oh, this takes a minute and a minute now. Again, I can pull out the small piece. So then we're emphasizing the biggest and the smallest. So then these are the two opportunities for growth. The um, smallest category is 2 to 11 year olds. So you know that's the category with which we can try to pull in more moviegoers from 2 years old to 11 years old. And then over here the 25 to 39 year olds these are the ones that are most frequently going to the movies. So we're doing really good marketing to this group. Maybe we could strengthen it a little bit because not far behind them are the 18 to 24 year olds. 
So reading a chart can tell you so many things about the movie industry. So what I want you to do over here is you're going to be creating your chart with the uh, weekend box office movies. So you're going to be doing the top, um, let's say, eight ones. One, two, three. And I'm just putting these numbers here just so you know what the how many movies you have to have. Do not put these numbers in your spreadsheet. If you do, it's going to make everything go bananas. Okay, so then you're going to do that. Remember, you're going to do a regular pie chart, and then you're going to do an exploded pie chart. Super easy. Then you're going to save this document as an Excel, as an Excel spreadsheet, and you're going to upload it to Core Science for Grading. This is like a super easy assignment and shows you how to set up a pie chart and hopefully gives you a really good idea of the kind of data you use. Remember, it is one data series. Not It looks like it's two, but it's really just one because this data is about this age group. So the pie chart is best used, best used to represent one series of data. So hope this helps you complete today's assignment and have a great day.